SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the College Bowls, and right now we are talking with a brand new guest to our videos uh, this year, Chris Sharp, who comes to us from VegasKillers.com. He's going to take the Rose Bowl, Michigan State, Stanford. Chris Sharp, thanks for being back with us. My pleasure, Peter. All right, give us a quick plug for uh, anyone who's not familiar with you, who you are, and uh, what you do at VegasKillers.com. Sure. I'm one of the professional handicappers at VegasKillers.com. Uh, currently, we have about 10 of us. Um, and what sets us apart from everybody else is that we're not just giving you guys picks that, you know, we don't believe in ourselves, that we don't right. play ourselves. We're, we're betting thousands a game on, on all our premium plays. And um, that, that's really what sets us apart from all the other uh, pick sites out there. Okay, well, glad, very glad to have you uh, back with us, Chris Sharp. You're going to take the Rose Bowl right now, which is, uh, of course, Michigan State, Stanford. Stanford's a four and a half or five point favorite. The total's 42 and a half. And, uh, you know, we know the deal with this game, right? It's probably going to be low scoring. It's got a very low total, could easily go under that total. So it's going to be low scoring, going to be a game where, you know, a battle in the trenches. And Michigan State, in the end, you know, just a one loss team on the year. They beat Ohio State. So uh, in light of how low scoring the game figures to be, it's probably going to be, again, you know, a, a game where it's going to be pretty close battle in the trenches four and a half or five points at first glance looks a little bit uh, like it's looming a little bit large to me is that what you like here Michigan State plus five Peter for the first time we're on the same side of this one. <laughs> I, I think the fans are in for a real treat in this game hard-nosed football great defenses great running um, I think it comes down to a field goal game either way um, I I really trust Connor Cook um, as the better quarterback here. And like you said, coming off that huge win at Ohio State, um, I really like Michigan State here, especially with the four and a half or five points. Um, I would take it all the way down to three. All right, so let me ask you this then. You know, when you hear my analysis, that's what the analysis of everyone who looks, you know, you know at the ESPN uh, uh, team pages for a couple minutes is going to think. I mean, I don't have any kind of model or, or special inside information. So then why do you think then that the line is four and a half or five in light of how low the total is and how close the game figures to be? I think Vegas is uh, really thinking that the public is going to love uh, Stanford just for the fact that they beat Oregon, who everybody thought was unbeatable. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you have to remember that the line is in what they actually think the score is going to be. The right. line is what they think is going to draw equal money on, on both sides of the line. But um, and I think that Oregon game really sticks in the head of uh, a lot of betters, and that's why it's a little high. But you don't think that the Ohio State game sticks in the head of betters just as much? No, I don't. Um, I think a lot of people saw Oregon as unbeatable. Mm -hmm. And when Stanford beat them, um, a lot of people just got on the Stanford bandwagon. And I think Michigan's being Michigan State's being overlooked here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's the way I see it as well. Wouldn't be surprised if this line clo does close, uh, you know, closer to three, in fact. Okay, Chris Sharp liking Michigan State plus five in the Rose Bowl. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.